Starships in a space game are obviously a huge part of the experience, and Starfield is no exception. Whether in dogfights with pirates as a bounty hunter, or hauling cargo from Neon to New Atlantis, your ship is your constant, it's your home, your base of operations. So what are the best ships for you and your crew? This is All Out Gamer, I'm Echo, and here's my picks for the top 5 starships in Starfield. Starting out at number 5, we have the Aegis. This ship is a great all-rounder, with an excellent balance of kit between weapons and shields. And with a pilot in rank of B, it won't take you a million years to get it. But where this ship truly excels is in its jump distance, having nearly double the jump distance of the Frontier. With the Aegis, you have a crew size of 5, meaning you can boost its capabilities with the right crew members. It's a fairly pricey one at around about 160,000 credits and can be found at Deimos Staryards, which is found on Phobos, one of the moons of Mars in the Sol system. Coming in at number four, we have the excellent Star Eagle. This is another great all-rounder with excellent weapons and shields. And though it doesn't have the same jump range as the Aegis, it more than makes up for that with cargo capacity. This is a great hauler. And with its weapons and shields packing the punch that they do, you'll be able to fend off those pirates whilst going from point A to point B, whilst keeping that precious, precious cargo intact. The Star Eagle is a quest reward for the Free Star Collective. It being a quest reward also means it's completely free, which is why it pips out the Aegis. So head over to Aquila City, speak to the Free Star Rangers, and start your path to getting this awesome ship. Here we are at number 3, and now we're getting into the true monster territory. And my pick is the Abyss Trekker, which has insane weapons, great shields, and an amazing hull. And what it lacks in cargo capacity, it makes up for with jump distance and reactor and crew size. With 6 crew, this ship becomes a monster. And at just 72,000 credits, it doesn't break the bank half as hard as Aegis does. This one can be bought from Paradiso in the Porima system. Coming in at number two, we have an absolute beast, the Narwhal. To put into perspective just how good this ship is, it has the cargo capacity of the Star Eagle, the jump distance of the Aegis, and double the hull of the Abyss Trekker, all the while having the same great weapons and shields. This pirate killer can be bought from Tayo Astroneering, which is at Ryujin Tower in Neon, in the Volai system. Now you do need a C-grade piloting license to buy this ship, but it is just incredible, well worth it. And here we are at the very tippity top of my list, and you've guessed it, it's the Razor Leaf. And I can hear what you're saying, Echo, how can this one possibly beat the Narwhal? Well, there are multiple reasons. One, it's very fast. Two, it has great shields. Three, it's completely free in the Mantis quest line. And four, pirates run from this ship. So yes, the Narwhal is better in many aspects. However, you can upgrade this ship and it will always have one benefit the Narwhal can never get. And on top of that, it's still an incredible all-rounder. And like I said, it's very zippy. It can take on dogfights in matters of seconds. That's if the pirates fight you. To get this incredible ship, you need the secret outpost note, which randomly drops from enemies. This will start the Mantis quest. And once again, I'm not going to say any more because this quest is incredible. And there we go, my friends. That's my list. However, as always, I do have some bonuses for you. Bonus number one is for those hoarders among us or those cargo haulers. If you like to do a lot of trading as a space merchant, the Claymore 2 is for you. As you can see, it still has great shields and decent weapons, but the main draw of this is its cargo hold. This one is acquired by fighting ecliptic mercenaries either in a space fight or on a planet when you see it land. So keep your eyes peeled and make sure you're taking out the engines of any ecliptic enemies you find. Take your chance when you get it. And finally, and I'm sure everyone saw this coming, it's the Starborn Guardian 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are amazing all-rounder ships, especially for early games in New Game Plus. 
However, I would replace it as soon as you can with any of the ships you've seen on my list. Simple reason for that, you can change those in any way you want, but the Starborn Guardian, you can't edit at all. And that was my list. Do you agree with it? If you did, leave me a comment below. Like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and good luck in Starfield. Target's grab drive is down. So, so sorry.